Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us. Here, we want to solve this problem 27 raised to the power x minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 720. Now, let's change this 27 as 3 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power x, which is minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 720. Now, when we apply the law, of indices here. When we have something of the form a raised to power m and raised to power n, so we can write this as a raised to power mn because this power multiplies, and uh, also it can be written as a raised to power n then raised to power m. Since they multiply, we are still going to have the same thing like this. Now, when we apply that here, we can take x inside. And take 3 outside. We have 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 3, then minus 3 raised to the power x equals to 720. Now, from here we have 3 raised to the power x common. So we can use a letter to represent that. So let y be equals to 3 raised to the power x. So we can use a letter y. So let y equals to 3 raised to the power x. Then we can write this equation and say we have y raised to the power 3 minus y equals to 720. And uh, let's take 720 here. So that this side will be 0. We have y raised to the power 3 minus y minus 720 now. Because plus on this side will come and become minus. Then be equals to 0. So from there, we can write minus y again as minus 81 plus 80. Minus 81y plus 80y. We still give us minus y. So when we slot these two numbers inside here, we have y cube now. Then minus 81y plus 80y minus 720 will be equal to 0. So let's factor it to 2. So what is common between these two? We have y. Then remain y squared minus 81. Then what is common here? Plus 80 out into bracket y minus 9. So which is equal to 0. Then from there. We can express this 81 as 9 squared so that we have y multiplied by y squared. So y into bracket y squared minus 9 squared. So 81 is written as 9 squared. Then plus 80 into bracket y minus 9, which is equal to 0. And this is difference of two squares. When we apply that, we have y into bracket y plus 9 multiply by y minus 9 from difference of 2 squared then plus 80 into bracket y minus 9 which is equals to 0 and from here we have something common y minus 9 is common let's take it out we have y minus 9 out then what is left here is y into bracket so we have y into bracket y plus 9 left here then what is left here is 80 so plus 80 which is equals to 0 and uh, we can open this one here so that we have y minus 9 then multiply by y times y here y squared then plus y times 9 that's 9y then plus 80 equals to 0 so we have two cases here so we have for the case 1 here, we have y minus 9 will be equals to 0, y minus 9 equals to 0, then we have case 2, we have case 2 as y squared plus 9y minus 80 equals to 0. Now, from here, we have that y is equals to 9 when we take negative 9 to that side become positive 
and here we can use the formula y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now let's check whether this will give us a real or complex solution. We are interested in the real solution here. Now we check with the discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac. In this case our b is 9. So we have 9 squared minus 4a that's 1 then c that's 80. And when we simplify this next square is of course 81 so this will give us 81 minus 4 times 80 that's 320 this will be less than 0 so what we have here is less than 0 that means this will be a complex solution so let's reject this then from y equals to 9 we have y equals to 9 and the value of our y we represented y as 3 raised to power x so we say let our y be 3 raised to power x when we bring it down here now so we are going to have that 3 raised to power x from here from here we have 3 raised to power x which is y will be equals to 9 and 9 can also be written in base 3 as 3 raised to power x will be equal to 3 raised to power 2. So the base are equal. From here we have same base. We can equate the power and say x equals to 2. So the solution here we have x equals to 2. And when we put this into the equation given, we discover that it satisfies that equation. And uh, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.